Hello community! A video multimodal model by Meta? Is it similar to Sora by OpenAI? I was interested. Because you remember, Meta published here just days ago here the next evolution of AI coming from a large language model here to a large concept model and you see all the details here in this video of mine. So when I read now that today, December 16, 2024, that Meta and Stanford University published here new models here for video understanding, I was really interested and I wanted to show you here this publication. So let's have a look, multimodal models here, in particular video. Now, as we learn here that they introduced here, Meta and Stanford, Apollo, a new family of multimedia models. And the beauty is they are small. Look, 1.5 billion free trainable parameters, 3B and 7B. So this is exactly what I'm interested in that I can run it maybe locally, maybe even train it locally. So December 16, Apollo, and they have superior performance given here marketing material by Meta. So let's have a look. I went to Hugging Face and yes, there they are. Just five hours ago, the Apollo 1.5 billion, the Apollo 7 billion, and the Apollo 3 billion. So we have it. And if you go there, you see exactly, yes, beautiful. So their task is long form video comprehension. Then what I find, find interesting is temporal reasoning. So you see a long video on a scientific text and then you have temporal reasoning or complex video question answering or you even have a multi-turn conversation grounded in the video content that I just watched for an hour or two hours. How is this possible? I understand with a Gemini model, no? with two million context length in the tokens. But how can a 7B model do this? So, as you see, yeah, I'm really early, I know, but I just wanted to show you this because this could be really interesting. And if you go on further here and from this page here, scaling consistencies, video sampling, encoder, and Apollo Bench, and I said, okay, let's have a look at, at their benchmark. So, just to be clear, this is a benchmark here by Meta and by Stanford on their own models. So, I guess they have chosen here a representation that puts them in a good light. Let's formulate it in this way. So here we go. You have it here on Hugging Face Spaces. It's publicly available. Apollo LLM, Apollo Bench. So we have 1,600 carefully selected multiple choice questions, various temporal conception categories here for video. And as you see here, we have here the Apollo 7B, the QVEN 7B, and the Lava 7B. And given just looking at the overall performance, as published by Meta, they are real close, no? 64, 66, and 66.3. So let's have a look what's the difference. I was interested what is the backbone language model. And I, since it's by Meta, no, I thought, hey, I'm quite sure they go here with the Llama model. And I know that they have the new Llama 3.370B, and after, yeah, you have to agree to the contract and the license agreement by Lama. Notice there's a new version here, December 6, 2024. You have access to these models, no? And you have quite a lot of downloads here, 165,000 downloads. So I thought the Lama would be here, their base model. No? But interestingly here, in Chapter 6, if you read the paper in detail, you see that they write here, hey, we employed the QN 2.5 series at varying scales to serve as the backbone for the new Apollo. And of course, you have what I understand here, the different scales available already in QN. So it was rather easy for them to build their 1.5, their 3B and 7B models. No, And then I thought, OK, so if they have here the QN base model, then they have specific video encoder, decoder, specific video technology that they apply now because they say they have the new Apollo models. Yeah? And if you then go here and read a little bit deeper, as I showed you here in the screenshot by the original paper, they say we use here Ciclip 400 and the Intern Video 2 as a video encoder. Now, I know Siglip, if you're familiar with this, 2023, developed here, Sigma at Loss for Language Image Pre-Training. You remember Clip here, with C-Lip, 
Now we have here the sigmoid loss function here for language image pre-training Siglib 2023, developed by Google DeepMind Zurich, Switzerland. Great. And yes, of course, it is freely available on Hugging Face, for example, close to 3 million downloads, even here in the latest patched version. And then I knew that there was available, but here you have the publication version 4 from August 2024, Intent Video 2. So this is now a video technology by Shanghai AI Laboratories from China. And this is a real interesting read if you want. Also, in the context, they still apply kind of a, their interface to clip is here interesting. And we have the code available here on GitHub, which is really beautiful. Go there. If you are interested here in video encoding, this is really a real nice model called Intern Video 2. So if this is now here the image and the video encoding that they use based on the Q1 model, you know, I was a little bit, I had a little smile on my face because reading this and in the, how to say this, in the social media world, no? Meta develops the new Apollo video model. It's breathtaking, unbelievable. If we look now in detail at the technical study that they published today, we see when they say we developed Apollo and we are talking here about Meta and Stanford University and this work was done here by our lead author during work done at Meta. So we have to say thank you to Meta to providing here the hundreds of GPUs here for running here all the different experiments. And I just focus here on the new model. If you read the study, there's a new insight how you can do scaling for video MMNs. And there are some really interesting topics, but let's just go what we can take away from this. What are the now video models by Meta? And if they say we develop Apollo, you know, I have this little smile because I think what they did is they took here the Q1 2.5 series as the backbone model. Then they just used here Siglip here by Google and the intern video too by Shanghai AI Laboratories. And this is the new Apollo? No, this is, would not be fair, because, of course, they know that the quality of the data is important. So they curated here, especially then for their new benchmark, the Apollo benchmark, here for their training here, specific training data sets. Now, I am now interested in this training data set. If this is the latest here, that they achieve here the best benchmark, whatever, now, the training data set would be interesting, no? And then you go to GitHub and you have everything there on GitHub here. Just the training code and the training data will be released upon internal approval. So in my understanding, the author has to ask here, Meta, that this will be available to the open source community. So maybe in the next days, maybe in the next weeks, maybe... We should regularly check here if we get access here to the training code and the training data, because I think this is one of the most interesting facts, because, okay, we have now temporal reasoning and we have here this ability of complex video question answering, which is nice, no? I mean, if you have a long documentation about a scientific topic and then you say, just summarize the video, no? and you get everything explained here in a compressed version. I think this is great, especially on YouTube. So if you have this on a 1.5 or a 3 billion model locally on your machine, I think this would be interesting. But looking now at the performance data with the knowledge we have now, and I go here with the official test by Meta and, and Stanford University, their Apollo benchmark, and then I now understand if I look here at the QVEN 7 billion model, the overall performance in the meta matrix, so in their best way to present their models, they move from the QVEN model 66.0 to the best performance possible to 66.3. Okay, how to formulate this? Okay, great. What other insights do we get from this exercise by Stanford and Meta AI? Now, what I personally found interesting, if you have a look, they checked out a lot of different combination of image and video encoding. 
And as you can see here from the original literature, they show you here on the left side with all the experiments they have done for the different benchmarks here, that they found that the Siglip here emerges as the best overall among single encoders. And they also find that image encoder underperform in the pure temporal perception in the temporal then, argumentation if compared to video encoders, which is, I would say, well, of course, are the video encoders. If it's about the temporal development that is depicted in the videos, video encoder do have here a better performance. Great. But you see here, if we look at the orange here, Intent Video 2, yeah, this is quite nice. So if you look down here at the blue dot, you see also here a superior kind of performance here on all the different benchmarks, so okay. And then they checked also here a dual encoder configuration. So image and video separated for improved performance. And I think this is done real nice based on a language model here. And they found here, and this is interesting, no? that combining here the intern video 2 and the Siglip leads to the best overall performance in a dual encoder configuration. And you see this here again with the orange one here. So the Intern Video 2 and Siglip, they have here on their test the best performance. And I think this is kind of an interesting result, no? Running this here on the meta, I don't know, um, infrastructure, 100 of GPUs that we have now, kind of an evaluation for a specific training data here that this is the best combination, single encoders or dual encoder configuration, which people already use. Siglip is one of the main dominant in Intent Video 2. Okay, I learned this fact. Great. Now, if you go here to Apollo-LLM's GitHub I.O., they have here an extended benchmark data they present to you. So we have here in the first part here the existing benchmark that they selected here, and then they have their Apollo benchmark. And of course, they promote their Apollo benchmark. I understand this, beautiful. Unfortunately, they have quite a lot of missing data, like say Sonnet here. Sonnet is not a video, no? But on some simple test, uh, yeah, it's missing here, and also from Mixtral and Pixtral and everything is missing, so yeah, whatever. So they say, here we have the proprietary, here we have the open weight, here we have the open source, and then they show you the Apollo 1.5 and Apollo 3, and here I have a screenshot where I just focus on the performance of Apollo 1.5, Apollo 3, and Apollo 7. So you see those three models now in the relative performance. The headings here for those columns is identical to this one here. So you see, whatever you take, we take the first one. So Apollo 1.5 from 60 goes to 62 and goes to 64.9 then 63 to 68 to 70. And if we take here from, from Apollo Bench, the overall, we have here Apollo 1.5, 57, 62, 66. But you see, there's <laughs> almost everything, every other model is missing here. We already only have four models where we have data for this. So yeah, this is a very, let's say, a very particular demonstration, visualization here of the benchmark data. But never mind. And yeah, just a short reminder. It is not if you see this that you think this is the best one. No, the best performance, I think, is underlined. Also, if I look here, I have here 69.1 and 68.4 is underlined. So I guess there's a, yeah, a particular logic to this. I have not discovered it yet, but those are the data published by Meta and Stanford University on this. So here we have it. This was here a very first view, a very first summary. I will have to test this in the next days here, the real world test with this and compare it here to the pure QVAN model, see if the training data set become available. But interesting, you see now they move here to more and more of these video multimodal models. And today was on the new Apollo models by Meta. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had some new ideas. Maybe you will try out this model when the first demos become available. And if you become a new subscriber to my channel, you will be notified immediately if my new video goes online.